Hello everyone, this is Heather Wibbles at MassageByHeather.com. I'm a licensed massage therapist in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to share a little tidbit for you today. I've got a short video for you on how to work on a scar. Oftentimes during surgery, when the body heals itself, especially around the incision and the underlying tissues directly beneath the tissue, um, there will be some adhesions. So the area might feel tight or tense or dense or congested. Your range of motion may be more restricted in that area because of the location of the scar and the way that the body heals. Um, so what I have for you today is work on a particular scar. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating this on uh, someone else uh, who has a pretty long scar uh, on her knee, on the inside of her knee. I'm going to show you how to work the tissue to open up the area around the scar, how to get the adhesions to release a little bit and work a little, a little deep into the tissue to release that. One thing to note is that when the body heals itself after an incision or a surgery, it doesn't only knit itself together in horizontal planes of attachment. So if you have an incision site, um, say I had an incision, incision site on my forearm, it wouldn't just uh, heal just on the skin and then heal just on the tissue. Uh, when the adhesions build up during the healing process, the adhesions build up vertically, horizontally, um, and, and they build up in every direction. Uh, so it really is designed to draw all the tissue together and get that uh, wound as closed as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, what that does is ties layers of tissue that need to move, move independently together. So in order to start that uh, breakup process where you can get the tissue a little bit more open, a little bit better flexibility and range of motion, you can perform this technique on scars that you have, either on yourself or on someone else. So take Take a peek and I hope this helps you out. So to begin your work on the scar, note where the actual scar is. In this case, the scar starts in the inside just above the knee and there's two sets of scars. This was a surgery where a skin flap was used. So there's a scar here at the beginning all the way around on either side and then a little piece of the scar goes around to just beneath the knee, um, just beneath the meniscus and the kneecap right in here. To begin working on this area, first you want to make sure you have no lotion on your hands. You want to use your hands to create friction around the scars. To release the scar tissue, what we're going to do is pull the skin and the soft tissue in different directions to loosen up the adhesion starting from the outside, the outermost part of the scar, closer into the scar itself. The first technique we'll use will just be lateral pulls from side to side from the innermost part of the scar out around either side to the outside. When you're working on someone else, just note that you want to pull, we're going to start with pulls that are uh, perpendicular to the direction of the scar and help to open up the tissue that direction first. So place uh, your fingers on either side of the scar. In this case, the scar starts here, so we're going to put a finger on either side and simply pull the tissue out to the side. As you do this, press into the skin and then tug to the side. You don't want your skin to your uh, fingers to slide on the skin. You want to just press into the skin and pull out to the side. You can do it very quickly or you can do it slowly like I'm doing here. Hold it for a couple seconds and just tug. If it's a new scar, it's going to be a lot less flexible than this. An older scar, uh, you might be able to move the skin and the tissue just fine. But the underlying tissue a couple layers deep may be more um, may be more congested and more adhesed. Uh, since this scar has two sides, I'm going to go ahead and do this on this other side as well. So again, pushing my finger into the tissue and then tugging out to the side. Once we finish that technique, I'm going to use my fingers to create um, opposite circles on either side of the scar. So I'm going to press my fingers in and do a little bit op opposite circles either way, just little half circles. Do several in each location. Check in and make sure the, the pressure is good with your partner. If you're doing this on yourself, make sure it's not too painful. You just want to feel a tug and a stretch in the skin itself. Sometimes it'll feel tingly, like uh, there's additional blood flow coming into the area. Uh, if the area is uh, numb, if you've got some paresthesia in the area, it might feel like it's waking up, uh, pins and needles kind of feel. 
Again, since the scar has two sides, we're going to do this again uh, on the lower of the two scarred areas. This is something else you can do either very quickly, rapidly like I'm doing now, or you can do it very slowly. Another technique you can do is to actually go across the scar itself. So you can press your finger into the tissue and pull outwards. In this case, you are going to let your finger slide on the skin, but as you press down into the tissue, make sure you're grabbing that tissue with your finger with the pressure and pulling perpendicular to the direction of the scar. The other thing you can do is pull with uh, right along the scar itself, but do vertical tugs either way. So in this case, instead of going perpendicular to the scar, we're going to go parallel to it. And on either side, I'm going to place a finger and just go back and forth. If you're working on yourself, you know it feels good and what's too much if you're working with someone else. Ask them if the pressure and the movement you're using is comfortable for them. Once you've done those three techniques, uh, doing side to side pulls on the scar, doing little semicircles or half circles all along the scar, and then crossing the scar uh, perpendicularly and um, going along with the scar parallel on either side. There's one final technique you can use that really helps to loosen up the superficial tissue. It's called skin rolling. To do this, you'll simply pick up a piece of the skin, and this, in this case, I'm gonna go with the direction of the scar, just for the initial one, between your fingers, and lightly roll your fingers across the scar. If this is someplace that's very congested, uh, it's gonna be, it's not gonna move as much as this is moving here. If the skin is extremely tight, it won't move very much, but do as much of a skin roll as you can. Once you've loosened it up going in the same direction as the scar, you're going to uh, go ahead and go uh, perpendicular to the scar. So again, pick up the tissue. In this case, we're going to start right above the knee and go downward across the scar. Do that the whole length of the scar from the innermost side of it all the way to the outside. When you're done, if you want to apply some vitamin E or uh, cocoa butter or some kind of scar um, lotion or ointment that you've gotten from your doctor, go ahead and put that on after you've done the work and rub that in very good to the tissue. So I've just shown you a quick technique to work on someone else or your own scars. Uh, do take into account that you need to think about the amount of pressure that you're using. If you're working on an area that has some paresthesia, uh, has sort of a numb feeling or you, you don't feel everything, uh, that the sensations that are presented to the skin in that area, uh, do note that you can feel some tingling uh, in the area as blood flow and uh, nerve conductivity kind of returns uh, through the scar area or underneath the tissue that you're working. So pins and needles are sometimes common side effects. Occasionally people will feel a little zing of pain, a little electrical feel. Uh, but in general, uh, sometimes this can actually help bring back uh, nerve, um, nerve reception in the area as well. So, hope you enjoyed it. This is Heather Wibbles at Massage by Heather.com. Thanks so much.